Welcome to Ionic 2 tutorial, chapter 3, part 2. I am Jayesh Lahare. In this tutorial, we will learn about uh, uh, testing the Ionic application on, in different environment and testing it on a different uh, emulators and also on some third party tools like uh, Genymotion in which we can uh, test our Ionic application with different kinds of uh, sensors and uh, different real real time scenarios like uh, GPS, camera and uh, uh, Bluetooth and network latency and a lot of features are there so in this session we are going to cover these topics so let's start as in my previous tutorials I have already created a hello world ionic application so I am just going to make some experiment on that application only So this was the application and uh, let's uh, try to run this application in uh, browser. So as we run ionic sub command then it will execute our uh, ionic application in browser and if you want to see the look and feel of uh, your application then you can uh, run your application in ionic uh, and oh, sorry in a chrome browser and in chrome browser you can inspect then uh, there are some features which allows you to watch your application in uh, different layouts of layouts of a mobile so there is a uh, on top right corner there is an icon called toggle device toolbar and when you click on it it will give you look and feel of any mobile device so by default it's giving me nexus 5x uh, resolution and uh, here you can see a list of uh, different uh, mobile screens on which you can uh, see your uh, application So I have covered this uh, uh, Chrome description in my previous tutorial that is uh, uh, chapter 3 I guess. So you can watch that video or you can refer that uh, tutorial for more information. But right now let's concentrate on only uh, this topic. So uh, in Ionic if you want to test your application or if you want to see uh, the UI part of your application in uh, Android and iOS at the same time then Ionic uh, developer or you can say the creator of Ionic has uh, given us uh, some facility and with the help of some command line uh, command line parameters you can uh, watch your UI on uh, iPhone and Android at the same time so let's see how we can see our UI on iPhone and Android at the same time With the help of ionic sub command in the end if we append this uh, double hash uh, double hyphen lab parameter then it will open a uh, lab option of ionic so uh, if you run ionic sub command with lab parameter then you can see that uh, your application is uh, presented in different platform and on top right corner there is a list of platforms which is provided by ionic lab so you can see uh, the layout of your application either on uh, iphone or android or windows application or uh, you can select uh, any one of your choice So you can modify your app and you can see the result at the same time on uh, different emulators of uh, Android, iPhone and Windows. So this was the Ionic Lab which allows us uh, this functionality to test the UI. Uh, now let's see how we can implement or how we can use third-party emulator to test our ionic application 
so in this tutorial i am going to explain uh, jenny motion which is a freeware tool and it's a free for uh, uh, personal use not for the commercial uh, if you want to use the jenny motion for commercial use then you have to buy its a license so let's see what are the steps i'm terminating this uh, ionic command so before proceed we uh, we should uh, make sure that uh, these uh, softwares are installed on our, our uh, pc like i'm using windows uh, 10 so we require, require these uh, softwares like uh, we need uh, minimum jdk java jdk 1.8 or above uh, then uh, for jenny motion we require virtual box and uh, uh, jenny motion setup and uh, the third option is you can test your ionic application on uh, Android SDK's uh, emulator itself or you can test it on real device but in this session I'm going to cover only Jenny motion so let's see what are the steps so to, uh, to download the Jenny motion we need to open its official website which I have mentioned in on the screen which is uh, jennymotion.com so this is the website you can see that and uh, in this website there is a trial version so in trial version initially they will give you all the features like uh, uh, you can uh, perform different hardware specific tasks in this emulator but after certain period few functionalities are disabled like uh, GPS and uh, rotation of devices de uh, disabled so uh, for now let's concentrate on uh, trial version only So to uh, download the Jenny Motion, you need to create uh, or you need to sign up uh, with the Jenny Motion website. So I already created my account on the Jenny Motion portal. So it's a 30 days free trial. And here you can see different flavors are available like uh, Ubuntu, Windows and Mac OS. So we are just targeting uh, Windows. In Windows there are two options uh, with virtual box or without virtual box. So I will prefer without virtual box because uh, it's a Windows 10 operating system and uh, the Jenny motion which uh, come with the virtual box is the old version so i will just download the jenny motion not the virtual box in uh, next step i will show you that how we can download the latest version of vir virtual box uh, so these are the two softwares which are uh, prerequisites to run uh, jenny motion so let's concentrate right now on uh, jenny motion only i'm downloading jenny motion and it's downloading it's around the size is around 45 mb okay so it looks okay so it looks like uh, jenny motion is uh, downloaded successfully now let's see how where we can install virtual box so the official website of uh, virtual box is uh, virtualbox.org and here here you can see the latest version of uh, virtual box so i always prefer to download the latest version of these tool because uh, whenever we are updating jenny motion we need to upgrade the virtual box and sometime it happens that uh, jenny motion do not works because of uh, older version of uh, virtual box so for this tutorial i just downloaded this uh, version for windows which is 1.5.1.26 now let's see how we can install it so first let's install virtual box okay okay it looks like uh, virtual box is inst installed successfully now let's install jenny motion let's launch the jenny motion now
सो वेन एवर वी आर डाउनलोडिंग और यूजिंग जेनी मोशन द साइन अप विथ जेनी मोशन वेबसाइट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट यूज एनी एम्यूलेटर ऑफ जेनी मोशन देन वी नीड टू यू वी रिक्वायर दोज क्रेडेंशियल ऑन अवर कंप्यूटर एंड ऑल्सो लाइक इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी इज रिक्वायर्ड इन केस ऑफ जेनी मोशन so here you can create uh, different flavors of uh, emulators with different configuration uh, by clicking on add button and uh, here you can see uh, like uh, there are different versions of androids available so i'm going to select 7.1 because it's the latest one and device model you can select 7 i will select google nexus 6p you have to select it and then click next one next it will download required uh, file from internet here you can see that so it's going to take a little time okay it looks like our uh, jenny motion emulator is created so it's time to run this uh, emulator so select it and click on start Okay, it looks like uh, our uh, Jenny Motion emulator is set up successfully. So it's time to run our Ionic application in this uh, emulator. So this was the Hello World application which we which we was uh, looking in our uh, Chrome browser. Now let's see how it looks in uh, Jenny Motion. So. to run ionic application in emulator basically in uh, android sdk emulator the command is ionic codeva emulate android but this command is not going to work in case of uh, jenny motion because jenny motion works just like a real device so we need to use command which we use to run application on real device so we have to remove these last two parameter and we have to use ionic cordova run command and then android so if you want to run this command on ios ios device or ios emulator then uh, use uh, ionic cordova emulate ios or you can use io cordova run ios but let's run it uh, let's run it in uh, Jenny Motion Emulator. So it looks like uh, application is deployed over uh, Jenny Motion, and uh, here you can see it's uh, the icon. It's uh, my app, and when you click over it, it will. Uh, execute the application so here we go you can see that uh, our uh, avanic uh, hello world application is uh, running on a jenny motion emulator so you can uh, implement or you can uh, install a uh, Jenny Motion emulator on your uh, local machine, and this uh, Jenny Motion emulator is supported on a number of operating system like uh, Ubuntu and uh, Mac and Windows also. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, let's see you in another tutorial. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.